Hello everyone, I am Ayub Buseta from Tunisia. Today I'm going to introduce you my little project <coughs> about a homemade microscope. Um, I get the, because I'm, I'm studying uh, first year biology, I thought about I, I thought I need a microscope. I thought about buying one, but they were very expensive. So I thought again about making one. I have a little experience in making stuff like that uh, when I was young till now. I succeeded it. I succeeded making it in seven days to make it work as it should to be. Then I sacrificed another seven seven days to make several improvements and adding some features. About the optic part, uh, it needs. I needed lenses, so I I used old cameras to have lenses. And uh, the mechanic part, I use a bolt and a nut. Uh, turning the nut will move the optic part up and down. And the electric part, I have used, uh, in the first time, I have used a power adapter and a bunch of LEDs. But with the improvements, I will talk about the details of the improvements. Let's jump to the microscope. Here it is. Now the microscope is, as you can see, it's uh, not like it was before. I have used better materials like cup, uh, copper. Uh, it's all water uh, water uh, components, water tube components that allowed me to uh, fix the the lenses in their places. This is the optic part, and this is the mechanic part. It ha in the first time was it was having. Uh, a problem it was the optic part was shaky because of it then i have added this screw right here and this little modification to the bolt that will stand the optic part in its place this is the mechanic part and it has this button right here that will turn on and off the leds and this little disc right here as you can see is to increase and decrease the power intensity uh, the improvements that i have made to the optic part uh, are ad, uh, changing some lenses to make the focus bigger and to uh, increase the uh, magnification level to 240 times. And the improvements that I have made to electric part is uh, is uh, adding a rechargeable phone battery inside it. And uh, adding it uh, requires this button right here. It it's this one is to choose between using the battery or using the using the battery or using the uh, power adapter uh, electricity this is the port of the power adapter and this one right here is to choose between charging or not charging the battery when the power ad ad adapter is plugged in now this is the feature that i have added this is uh, a smartphone support for smartphone micro photography it is plugged in like that and it is as you can see uh, in front of the optic part of the ocular lens and I put the phone sorry it's I'm gonna and put the phone like that With this feature, I can easily m uh, take pictures and do and film uh, moving microorganisms easily. This is blood, and the so little circles that you are watching are the red blood cells. Let's focus a little bit. Let's move around and see other cells like these, these right here, this one. And th this is for the red blood cells. And then now let's move to the epithelial cells of the mouth. This one is one of them. Here's a bunch of cells right here. It's not colored because um, I didn't color them. 
so as you can see the magnification level is good enough it magnifies thanks to the, to the improvements to uh, up to 240 times and in the, the first prototype was around 140 or something like that this is pretty much it this is the microscope the the support as you can see it's it can be removed easily I added this I added this uh, to uh, things that will uh, fix the this little piece right here to avoid uh, the the, the, its ability and its uh, its uh, mobility uh, because it we lose the sight of the sample that we are watching now i want to say thank you for watching and thank you for your attention and hope to see you next time